Alright, I actually had to reload the game there, because there was a graphical error, which is great. Hope those keep happening, but hey guys, we're back with another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold version. And um, thankfully, as we go to heal, um, I can inform you that Geodudet uh, managed to level up again from fighting like two Ghastlies along with Feathers and or Jaws. And learned Rock Throw, which is going to make fighting Faulkner an absolute cakewalk. Because uh, Faulkner, in keeping with my theory that the region of Johto is supposed to be kind of... Um, Kind of laid back compared to like Kanto. Most of the gym leaders in 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 Jedo have only like one decent Pokemon, and the rest are filler. Faulkner only has two Pokemon anyway, and the first one's a really weak sauce Pidgey. All right, let's let's get in here. Fun. Got to battle these idiots first, which isn't a problem. Like, I don't have to. I could go around. There's the invisible floor, as you can see them. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, uh, but from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Are you flying with your own wings? No? Then I think you're wrong. Now let's see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. I don't know if I am. I hope so. I guess we'll find out. Bird Keeper Abe. Send out Spiro. Let's go, Geodudet. You're my ringer here. And I got rid of... Mud Sport, because of course I did. Mud Sport is a completely useless move. I actually want to switch Pokemon after this. Look at that. Look how good that was. Switch Pokemon after this and put Jaws out front. Good chunk of experience, too. Because Jaws should be okay in this fight. Feathers should, too. I want to put Jaws out first, because she's starting to fall behind a little bit, and I forgot to do that before. So let's switch... Poor Gnaw. Not paying any attention to poor Gnaw at all. Yeah, that kind of rhyme. Hello. Ho ho! Are uh, you some kind of big shot? We'll see. No, sir. I am but a humble novice trainer. What happens if you get pushed around up here? Think you'll stagger and fall? I don't like this guy very much. I don't think he should be battling children in, in your gym, Faulkner. People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Why? Bring it on. Don't like this guy at all, man. Bird Keeper Rod. What a douchey name. Uh, I'll rage. Why not? That's a cool sound. Uh, bad, it's water gun now. Oh, that's annoying. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of goofing around at this point, honestly. Um, stop sand attacking me, that's very rude. Because these, these guys aren't actually a challenge. There we go. Come on. Rage again, why not? Come on! I'm gonna have to switch in a minute because it's getting annoying. Ugh. Alright, let's switch. Let's switch to feathers, I guess. It doesn't matter. I mean, Nala could actually uh, put in some work here, too, because he's got quick attack and that could be useful. Hey, with Gust. Since birds don't resist flying type attacks for some reason. Jaws leveled up, very nice. Uh, I was gonna say that might level me too, but it, it did. All right, let's switch back to Jaws now. Now that I've shaken off those sand attacks, and actually attack with a decent move to start this time. I need to stop goofing around and take this seriously. Water gun, let's go. Real annoyed that it's faster than me. Totodile is not super fast anyway, though. I don't know why I would expect to be faster than a Pidgey. Because Pidgey's actually relatively quick. Alright. Now I'll finish it with a Rage. Why not? Oh, I outsped it that time. 
Was it like quick attacking me or something and I didn't, didn't notice? Or, or were we just speed tying? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Gah! Yeah, gah, gah to you too, buddy. I, I, don't, I don't know what that meant. Hello, Gym Leader Faulkner, I've come to challenge you. I'm Faulkner, the Vi Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say uh, you can uh, clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. Why would anybody say that? Like, like, like we're we're way way too early in the game. Can you get electric types this early in the game? What's the earliest you can get a Mareep? Route 32? Is that right? Could I have gotten a Mareep already? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I could or not. It doesn't matter. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. That's not an insult. It's just a fact, buddy. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Imagine I'm looking at the camera like a character from The Office right now. Because th that, that's the energy I'm trying to channel after reading that really stupid line. Because he, he, he is certainly not going to do that. Stop, stop saying attacking me. Just, just stop. God damn it. Come on. If, I, if one of my guys, even even weak, even weakened, if one of my guys gets knocked out by the filler Pidgey, I'm going to be real mad. At least it's not actually attacking yet. Come on. Come on, Jaws. Come on. Please. Please just defy the programming of this game and, and use your attacks as if you haven't been affected by a status-altering move. Thank you. <sighs> I'm still going to switch Pokemon, though. I'm actually going to go into Gnaw. Because I think I can live a single hit from this thing. And then I can finish it with a quick attack. In theory, anyway. Frickin'. Just go, get it. Yeah. And that might actually level me more than once. I don't know. I don't know, because I'm splitting with Jaws. It, it's probably not going to level me more than once. Still got me level 7 there. That's pretty good. I learned Focus Energy. That's actually not bad. Yeah, okay, that wouldn't have leveled me more than once anyway. Um, You know what? I'm going to keep Gnaw out. Soften this thing up with a quick attack first. Before uh, the wind is finally with us. Should have just used Pidgeotto first. If Pidgeotto... if when you bring out Pidgeotto, that's when the wind is with you. You should have just used Pidgeotto first. Um, I was going to say, this thing is going to knock Gnaw out. There's no question about that. But I can at least do something with Gnaw first. Yeah, here's the gust. All right. Didn't actually knock me out. All right, I'm going to keep going then. Decent chunk of health I've taken away now with my significantly weaker Pokemon. It's practically double my level. I shouldn't have been able to do that much damage. Alright, now I'm going to bring out Geodudet. Finish this thing off with hopefully a single rock throw. Let's find out. It's not going to do anything. Actually did more than I expected. Alright, let's do this. i got to knock it out. It has roost. We can still fly. Is it gonna? Yep. All right. Great. That's the entire reason I tried softening it, softening it up first in the first place. At least it didn't heal it completely. That'll probably do it though, or just about do it. It's very annoying. I'm very annoyed by this. And roost, of course, removes its flying type for the turn. Which means it stops being um, weak to rocks for that turn. I'm gonna try to get my speed up so I can outspeed this thing. <sighs> Might actually end up keeping rock polish for a while. Just because it's actually not a bad move. It's still faster than me. That's real annoying. I'll go for another one. Because uh, it still can't really do that much damage to me. Okay, maybe he'll just 
burn out all of his roosts and it won't matter in a minute. What's the PP on roost? I don't even remember. Let's just go. Okay, we're faster now, but we missed. Because, of course, we did. This battle is turning out to be way more annoying than I expected it to be. It's, it's way more annoying than it has any right being. <sighs> Alright, I should be able to finish it in the next turn, then. Uh, since he didn't use Roost there. That was a much more annoying fight than it, again, had any right being. But I'm not, I'm not going to complain, though. It was still fun, and I did come in purposely under-leveled, under so it would be more of a challenge. And Geodudette levels again. Excellent. Beautiful. I understand. I'll bow out gracefully. Got a crap ton of money. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bo bird Pokemon. Wait. Wait. Were those literally your dad's Pokemon from back when he was gym leader? I just assumed they were so weak because they were like your Pokemon that you'd only started training. So it's too early for Hero to get jaded about about everybody else being real weak though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say he remains optimistic even though he's a little disappointed by this guy's strength. Uh, take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. And you'll see, assuming that I remembered to do it in editing, it'll actually light up up in the top right of my little backgroundy thing. With that badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And I get TM51. Uh, thanks, I know what a TM is. And it contains Roost, which is a very good move. Obviously it is, because it annoyed the heck out of me in that battle. Uh, there are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. Make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. Thanks, buddy. Let's uh, get the heck out of here. Heal up my guys. All in all, considering how underleveled I was when I came into this battle, I did a pretty good job, I think. Oh, hey, it's Professor Elm. Hello, hero. We've discovered something. The details are, uh, well, I can't really say anything. Uh, but we want you to carry that egg. And my assistant is at the Pokemart in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Yeah, sure, Professor. Um, just FYI, I'm not going to use Togepi. Yet. I'll use it a little bit later. But I, I didn't care about Togepi, because... Let's not kid ourselves. Togepi was annoying in the anime, right? And I was a child who watched the anime. Um, so I was annoyed by Togepi. I didn't use it my first time through Gold Version. I'm going to in this one, just for the heck of it, a little bit in the post-game, probably. Like the, like the Kanto stuff. But, uh... But I'm not, I'm not going to use it through my main playthrough. Because I didn't the first time. <sighs> Alright, healed up. Now where's this Where's this guy? Is, is it you? Oh no, you're that primo guy that I literally don't care about. Please stop talking to me, please. Go away. Oh, you have so much dialogue. I hate it. I hate it so much. You up here? Is he down here? Oh, hello. Right this way, please. Oh, it's the woman talking. Jeez, all right. Hello, I'm glad to meet you. My name is Tila, and I'm your guide to the Pokemon Wi-Fi Club. First, I need to give you this. Pal Pad. I, I really don't care about the Pal Pad. Um, so I'm just going to skip all this because it doesn't actually matter. Just trying to find... Understood. Thanks. Just trying to find that guy. Where's that guy? He's not down here either. Where the heck is he? Did I read that wrong? Am I going to have to call back Professor Elm and ask him again? Go away. The Pokemart, not the Pokemon Center. Thought I was losing my mind there for a second. Dear God. 
I'm gonna leave all that in the video too. Well, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna leave, that, leave all that in the video because, um, dear God, that's a that's a funny mistake. Okay, there he is. Hi, long time no see, hero. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. Uh, the thing is, we would like you to take care of the egg. Sure. Uh, here I received the egg from the assistant. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about, but after a while, Professor Elm slowly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Hero, because I only know, like, four people. Um, then he insisted that I hand this egg to you, and that's how I came to deliver the egg to you. I mean, couldn't you have just carried it around for a while, then? Um, thanks. I, I'm, I'm, I appreciate it, man. Again, not going to use it. Hello. Good evening, Hero, isn't it? You have a package for you from your mom. All right, cool. That's that's another cool thing that she does. A lot of people find it annoying that she spends your money on items that are kind of appropriate to your stage of the game, but I find it pretty cool. Uh, we look forward to your next visit. Thanks. I'm gonna buy some Pokeballs while I'm here, since I've got some money now. Um, I could buy super potions too. I should I should actually probably buy some super potions. Let's go maybe ten Pokeballs for now. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say I'll do ten of those two, but I don't have enough for ten. So let's go eight. Just just use up all the money I've got left. Of course, can't, can't have an odd number of them in my bag either. That would, that would be too annoying. I'm actually going to uh, go check on something real quick. Yeah, I just wanted to go double check. Because, uh... That thing that Faulkner said, if you recall, made me wonder, oh, oh yeah, this part of the game, right? Um, <laughs> talk to her in a second. Um, if you recall, Faulkner made me wonder if I could find Mareep on route, on route 32, which I'm pretty sure is that route we explored briefly south of town, and uh, you can. So um, he was actually right to be worried about electric types. Ah, that must be an egg, I, or something along those lines, because I didn't actually read what she said. I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm. Then pro from Professor Elm to you now. It went through his his aid first. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I'm not gonna, but alright. I am counting on you. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry it with me for now. Um, until it hatches, but I mean, otherwise I'm... Like I said before, I'm not not gonna not gonna use it. Is this the way I wanted to go? No, I wanted to go uh, this way. I would actually like to get a Mareep. Yeah, this is Route 32. That's what I thought. Uh, wait up! What's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. Uh, the training at the, at the gym must have been especially helpful. It was, actually. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass-type moves. Miracle Seed. Absolutely useless to me, but thanks. Um, try to find a Mareep. It's low spawn chance at night. We're gonna look for one anyway. Hey, look at the bell sprout. Not what I'm looking for, and I'm gonna run away from it, and then skip ahead to when I find a Mareep. But still, it's, it's pretty cool. Good to know that one of the the signature Pokemon of this town can be found right outside. Finally, a Mareep. Very good. Alright, good. It's a female, too, which is what I was looking for. I have a Water-type Pokemon out first. Alright, that's probably not a good idea. Let's scratch this thing, and please don't knock it out. That yeah, took me a lot longer to find than I wanted, wanted it to. Um, go for the catch, I guess. Okay, good. Great. Will Rage do less damage? I don't know. I don't know if it will or not. Um, let's try it out. If, if, it, if it knocks it out, it's my own fault. I'll have to find another one. Okay, that's not bad. Not quite as low as I'd want it to be, but I'm going to try again. 
just in case, because I don't want to get like crit and knock it out, you know? Come on. Come on. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I remember I loved Mareep back when I was playing through Gold Version for the first time. It was just such an interesting Pokemon. It was really the kind of thing I didn't expect. Like a cute, fluffy sheep. Just just was very unexpected to me for some reason as a kid. This is the wool Pokemon. Uh, if static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. And I will, of course, give a nickname to Mareep. And Mareep's nickname is going to be... Beacon. Uh, named for the fact that there's an Ampharos later in the game that acts as a, as a lighthouse light. Uh, it's, again, it's not very clever. None of, none of my nicknames are very clever. Uh, don't expect them to be, ever. Yeah, actually a pretty neat Pokemon. One that I might have actually used uh, my first time playing through Gold Version if I hadn't picked the water type starter. I should be training here. I, I don't know why I'm not. Um, there's this guy, though. I can train against him, at the very least. I haven't seen you around before, uh, so you think you're pretty tough. Not really. Uh, youngster Albert sent out Rattata. Do you think you're really tough? Start with a Rage. I don't know why I keep trying to use Rage. I just, I just like the sound it makes, really. Critical hit, nice. Alright. Good use of your turn there, buddy. Didn't even get very good experience from that. Switch to... Uh, Beacon's real weak. Does it know any electric moves yet? I don't even know. Hurry up, come on. Nope. That was probably a bad idea. Let's heal up a little. And try to beat this thing with my mutt now. I should I should probably switch. I should probably switch to Geodudad or somebody. Or or like like Gnaw maybe? Cause I mean he's he's lower level, but he's got quick attack and and, and Rattata's attack is actually pretty decent. Because I, I don't think I could beat beat that thing with a Mareep that doesn't even know electric type moves yet. Uh, come on, don't hit yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Ah, good thing it's not later generations of Leech Life, or that might actually be a problem. Come on, don't hit yourself. Thank you. Jeez. It'd be nice to get some decent experience for Gnaw and Beacon off of this one Zubat. Certainly hope that that plan of mine works out and doesn't horribly backfire. Oh look, it's horribly backfiring. Great! This is very annoying. Alright, let's heal. My guys are still weak enough that at least most of them can still get real good use out of potions even when they're at low health. So I might as well take advantage of that. Oh, so annoying. Since it's taking many, many hits to, to take out, I'm gonna go for a tail whip. Assuming I don't hit myself again. God dang it, come on. This is... This is infuriating. It's, it's utterly stunning. Wow. I was going to say, I was going to go for a tail whip, and then uh, maybe a focus energy to maximize my crit potential. But it's almost healed again already. And I'm, I'm going to have to heal again. Just to keep up with it. This is stupid. This Zubat is giving me so much trouble. This should not be a problem for me. Jeez. At least it's not trying to confuse me again, yet. It's probably gonna... Um, I don't need in there. Oh, dear God. Focus energy. 
Super Saiyan no. Right. Needs to missed. Quick attack, come on. Nice. Very good job, no. Excellent. Didn't even really give me enough experience to matter. Great. You're strong. I mean, you're pretty good too, kid. I mean, granted, I was using my literal weakest Pokemon against you, but still. That was that was more difficult than I expected. Alright, let's switch Beacon and Jaws so we can at the very least do some switch training on Beacon and then I'll switch Gnaw to second because Gnaw needs the most training next and I want to remind myself of that. I'm going to save again too while I have a second. Or several seconds I guess technically. There we go. I'm getting a little more used to how long that takes so it's not bugging me as much anymore at least. The cut tree there. Um, item. I might as well get it. Oh no, a random encounter. It's a whooper. All right. That. I don't want to deal with the whoopers. I'd rather deal with squishier guys. So I'm just gonna run. All right. What is this? A repel. Very nice. It leaves a little hole in the grass for some reason. Uh, can I battle you? Uh, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, pardon? Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, I'll accept your challenge. I actually remember her. Now that that dialogue has happened. Picnic or Liz? As a Nidoran, that's not optimal, because it's probably going to poison me, but I'll, I'll try. I'll see if I can see if I can fight the Nidoran. I can't fight the Nidoran. I'm gonna switch. Alright. Come on, Naw, save me. Probably gonna go focus energy again. Crits ignore stat changes, don't they? So there was no point in going tail whip and then focus energy was there. If my aim was to get a crit. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Quick attack, let's go. Eh. I mean, that was, still, that was a crit. We didn't do as much damage as I was hoping a crit would do, but still. Ah, uh, that was not a crit. But it tail whipped. Wasted its turn, even though I was about to win. That was a really stupid time to use tail whip again. But no one's ever accused the AI in any Pokemon game, really, of being good at all. Beacon leveled up. Can I get, a, like, a Thundershock or something soon, please? <laughs> Before I could get serious, I lost. Maybe you shouldn't have been dumb then. Oh, uh, you're on a big journey to see sights? Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Yeah, sure. I, I imagine Hero wouldn't mind getting a cute girl's phone number. I'll telephone you if I hear anything. She'll telephone me if she hears anything interesting. How old are you? Are you 70 years old? Oh, hey, Wade's calling me. Uh, hey, Wade. Good evening, hero. It's me, Wade. Were you awake? Obviously. Oh, yeah, Wild Rattata got away from me at the last second. I know it's a common Pokemon, but it does annoy me that it got away when I almost had it. See you later. It's going to be real fun. Listen to me answer literally every single one of those, isn't it? All right. Um, is there anything down here? I don't, I don't even know. Let's find out together. There's some people. Um, let's, let's, let's battle these people. Why not? My Pokemon? Freshly caught. Did he just have a bunch of magic cards? I hope he does. That'd be very conducive to my training. Oh, it's a Poliwag. That's a little worse. This might actually be a problem. Let's find out. Tackle. Oh, so it's going to use useless moves against me. That's good. Like, at least... At least freaking Tail Whip and Growl do something. That doesn't even do anything. Oh, that's annoying. Yep. That was a crit, though. That's not, that's not awful. But I missed. Of course I did. Great. Uh, 
Come on, we might actually be able to beat this thing if we can hit and it doesn't crit us anymore. I'd really like to get full experience uh, from a battle for Beacon. I will actually heal up if I have to. Yeah, we're not going to outpace this thing, unfortunately. I'm going to have to heal. If it gets a crit at this point, I'm going to get knocked out. And then all that time would have been wasted. Bit of a waste of a super potion, but it's fine. Stop spitting bubbles at me. It is very annoying. Okay, never mind. You can keep spitting bubbles at me. Just don't do that again. Ugh. Ugh, so annoying. Wake up. Wake up, Beacon. Come on. Come on, buddy. Frickin' sleep hacks, man. Beacon, wake up! I'm gonna have to heal again. This is stupid. Wake up! Great. Great. There. Thank you. Still, it's still gonna take another hit. Oh my god. Beacon, you suck. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be real great eventually, but you suck right now. Wow. Um, let's heal again. Great. Glad I bought these at least, though. This is gonna be this is gonna be what training's gonna be like through this whole freaking game, by the way. That's why I don't mind things like the experience share. Uh, come on. Miss or something. Alright, there we go. Good job, Beacon. Shouldn't have been that hard for you, but I still appreciate that you won. Yeah. Okay, very nice. I'm at the very least gonna keep Beacon out. And I guess switch into something else, because I don't actually need... To beat this thing with Beacon to um, get the next level up, so I shouldn't risk Beacon being knocked out and not getting any experience at all. God dang it. Hypnosis! Isn't it like a really low accuracy rate? Has he missed with it even once? Oh good, another, another useless move. Do some more of that. Like, use some hypnosis on me while I'm still asleep or something. Is it faster than me? How is it faster than me? How fast is Bullywag? Come on, Feathers, wake up. Jeez. This, this sucks. Not only is hypnosis hitting way more than it should be, but I'm staying asleep a lot longer than I would usually expect to. Ugh. Okay, finally, jeez. Decent damage, don't... You, okay, it missed at least, god. Ugh. Nice, so this will be a level up for Beacon and for Feathers. Which is very nice, a very nice thing and that, I am a that I am able to say. And um, Feathers is getting up there in level, which is nice. Because uh, Pidgeys evolved pretty early on. Splash? Alright, what, uh, what does this next guy have? Whoa, you made me lose that fish. Sorry. What do you have? Probably Magikarps. Yep. Alright, this will be easy. I'm actually probably going to skip this battle. Because it, it, it's Magikarps. Ah, hey, look at that. Static got it. This thing's actually pretty difficult. This level, level 15 one that he's got. His nose tackle. It's actually I actually had to heal up from it. Um, but he keeps using Splash and now it's paralyzed. So the rest of this fight, like this is a long annoying fight, but it's not a difficult fight. And I should get decent experience from this level 15 too. Hey, Thundershock, excellent. 
Uh, there's still one more Magikarp to go. But with Thundershock, it should not be a problem at all. So, um, yeah, I'll stay out. Keep fighting. Zappy Zappy. Beautiful. Good job, Beacon. You got your elemental attack now. Excellent. Sploosh! Got less money than I expected from winning that, but alright. Hello. Hurry up and walk over and battle me. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. We'll see. We'll see. I've got an electric type. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Ooh, that was a crit. Still, and you're paralyzed. Beautiful. Static is a really underrated ability. Maybe. I don't know. Do people like static? Is, do people think static is good? I don't freaking know. Finish it. Let's go. Good. I'm not going to say that Mareep is useless without at least Thundershock, but Mareep's useless without at least Thundershock. And now that Mareep's got Thundershock, it's a really solid early game Pokemon. Look at all that. Beautiful. Look at that. Another level. Great. That is excellent. I'm going to switch to Gnaw now, put Gnaw out first. And, uh, now I've got, I mean, if there's any more, uh, don't young people fish anymore? I can teach you how to fish. Uh, well, if you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me, sure. Um, if there's any more fishermen, guys, I can, I can switch train Gnaw off a, off a beacon if I really need to. Um, let's just switch. Because, uh, I think, I think Beacon's... That's not what I meant to do. I think Beacon's level's high enough at this point. For now, at least. <laughs> I mean, all of my Pokemon are still weaker than Faulkner's Pidgeotto, which had evolved before level 13 somehow. Which is just weird. Let's get going. Now, it looks like we, we got all the fishermen. There's an item up there along that other path. I don't know what it was. I don't really care though. Let's battle this guy. Let's 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 try to get to a, a, a new location. And then I'll, I'll call this episode done. That's annoying because I can't even switch into <sighs> into Mareep to battle that one. I have to go feathers. This is not going to be a fun battle. See. That this a move that weakens the power of electricity is absolutely useless if used in a single battle by a ground type. Looper's ground type, right? I know Quagsire is, but Looper is too, right? Might be remembering that wrong. Who freaking knows? Yikes! That was more damage than I would have liked. I'm faster than it is though, so I should I should have this unless it crits. Good. Very nice. Beautiful. Now we'll gnaw a level. Yes. Excellent. Decent chunk of experience for feathers, too. Very nice. Shucks, I thought I could win. Got practically no money from that kid. That's fine. Alright. Hello, person. Now would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail. Now, I want to be clear about something. Someone offering a slowpoke tail to a person in the Pokemon world is not a weird thing. Because slowpokes sometimes lose their tails, which then later regrow. And so people do eat slowpoke tails. It's it's like, like an actual food item in the Pokemon world. But asking a, a million pokey for one? That's a little suspicious. And also, I don't have nearly that much money. So, screw off, buddy. Go ahead and heal up real quick. Alright, let's talk to some of the people in here too real quick. The area's great for pi for fishing. <laughs> Looking at all those people fishing. Did you feel like you wanted to try fishing too? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'll take an old rod from you. Don't think I actually need to talk to anybody else in here, so I'm probably just gonna leave. Yeah, I know how to fish. It's okay. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for telling me all that. You could, you could have told that to me way more succinctly than that, but yeah. 
went into, into vast detail. That's fine. Um, that's going to be about it for this particular episode. And as per usual, guys, I will talk to you later.